great day today, um, particularly because we've got a lot of people here that were living with the diagnosis, either as a family member or a person that has the diagnosis. And it was a good range of speakers that were talking right away from the preventative aspect, through research, through dementia friends, dementia friendly communities, right the way through to end of life. So yeah, it was a good range of speakers. Oh, absolutely essential. Um, and it shouldn't be tokenism. So people that should, their families should be involved right the way from the beginning of the thought process. Not, can you have a look at this after people have written it or included in committees afterwards. Um, it's really important. And that, that came through loud and clear this morning from people living with the diagnosis. diagnosis is not just you that get the diagnosis, it's the whole family. So it's essential that the whole family is worked with because the family comes along together. It's not just the person in isolation. And different people within that family have different perceptions of how the dementia is affecting the individual, different perceptions about how it's affecting them and how it might affect the person in the future. So it's important that you know and understand that family and are able to support them through that process. to include and to have the, uh, the, the, the inclusivity. Uh, that helps to break down some of the stigma and discrimination. It also helps the healthcare and social care professionals and the, the voluntary service sectors to actually listen to families that are living with the condition of, of dementia and to enable us to be able to get the support right for those families rather than what we think the families need. So I think it's very important. What I'd also like to see a little more of though is for those families that can't come along to conferences like this. So those families that are probably living in the later stages. So a bit more involvement from them, whether that's through focus group, whether that's through voluntary sector, whether it's through dementia friends getting that information and then feeding it into the process. I think that would improve things considerably. human rights for people living with dementia and I think there was a really good point made this morning about how the human rights for disability services um, has moved on considerably over the last 20 years. Dementia, we're at that start of that process. I still think there's an awful lot that we can do, so human rights.